I saw on Reddit that a TikToker recently stirred up the pot claiming that some women are forced to settle in relationships because there's some people, some women are what? Forced to okay. settle in relationship because they claim, this TikTok claimed that women are hypergamous by nature. So is this an outdated perspective that belongs in the trash along with that empty cup of latte? Or is there a coffee bean of truth hidden beneath that aroma of, of that statement? So remember, honesty is the best policy, even if the brew is too hot. What are you guys' are thoughts on it? <laughs> All these coffee references. Hey, I'm doing some coffee euphemistic. Right? <laughs> that's, that's what we spoke about. I know, they're like, it's cheesy, but that's cheesy. Man. <laughs> no, that's, just, that's what the podcast is about. Yeah. Uh, but, um, nah, I, I think we should go in order. I think Sam should take this one. Go in the guru? Yeah. Oh, you it don't look like it ready. I, I, I don't understand the question. I mean, how are men supposed to answer for what women settle for? Well, I said, you know, I got a problem saying that. Yeah, I think it's absolutely true. I'm okay. going to keep it black and hot, just like the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have plenty of women. I know plenty of women out there and they settle because there's not enough good brothers out there. I have so many women friends I know. Mm -hmm. Orlando, you have any friends? You got any friends I can meet anything like that? I'm like, nope, they're all taking the ones I know are taking the other ones ain't trying to be in a relationship. Yeah. So just in order to find a good man, somebody they can be equitable with and try to build something with, they will take less because the options just aren't out there. And let's not forget, you know, uh, put a woman out there, plain and simple. Uh, they're so limited now that, you know, I've seen other other cases where they've, you know, kind of gone to the, you know, uh, the same sex and everything too. That That's that's played a real part too on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, women, women are limited or men are limited? What do you mean? No, women, women are limited in the options for men because there's not as many available men out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think what you said, there's more women well, than men ratio. Way more women than men ratio wise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's way more women in the world than right. there are men. Yeah. Right. It's like four to one. Right. Yeah. Well, I was going to bring up because that you referenced something. Yes. That kind of caught my attention, yes. which was. Yes. I'm just going to get direct about it. I can't. It's like, if I heard you right, you were referencing that the, there is an aspect of a percentage of the gay population that I take a, a, subtracts from that min count. Absolutely. Is that a, that's what that's just interesting because like what numbers like? I don't, I don't think those numbers are at, at the level that they say that women say. There aren't any good men out there. I mean, just because they're all gay. Like, I don't think I agree with that. No, no, I didn't say no. I didn't say that they're all gay. No, no, I didn't say they're all gay. That's yeah. not an absolute aspect. Yeah. I had a I had a friend of mine, uh, my, my man Aaron, and he said, man, he he was out. Keep it real. He was out in Atlanta, and he said um, the biggest issue a lot of sisters in Atlanta had were they had to compete. With yeah. so many and there's a lot of men, what do women have to compete with men for other men? men. I, I'm just trying and that's to just a fact. I can't, I can't, I can't uh, we're there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not there at all with this conversation at home. <laughs> and, and mainly because, you know, whether it's a workplace or family or your neighbors or your church, yeah, there's a lot of women out there that are looking for a spouse. But that doesn't mean they're settling just to find a man. Like, yeah. what is about that woman maybe that men aren't wifing up because they just don't have the home training or just the chemistry that they're looking for or the personality or whatever. Maybe they don't have similar interests. So I think that question's a little slated to lead the witness. Mm. You know, I think we look at relationships in general where you find someone you like that you want to hang with. Mm -hmm. And I think I a lot of times women complicate it. Instead of having fun with a guy yeah. and just going to a ball game, they got to have all this stuff established yeah. before they even give the dude a chance. So let's look at women, how they pass up good brothers left and right because they don't have a six-figure bank account or they haven't established yeah. a, a resume like an artist or entertainer. Yeah. Maybe they got to have the house and the white picket fence before they even consider a phone call. We see all kind of social media influencers posting content where the yeah. women said our first date cheesecake factory is trash 
Man, I love Cheesecake Factory. She tripped. Tri- but but there's, women, there's women that say <laughs> a first date, don't take me to Cheesecake Factory. So when you I'll talk about settling, talking, uh, no, I think your, your, I think the expectations are not realistic no, in today's dating. Well. Fleming, something, what is yeah, this? Yeah, like, first of all, I just, I just met you. Yeah. I don't like, really know you. Yeah. I ain't going to take it to Subway, <laughs> but, like, I'm not going to take it. Cheesecake is cool, though. But cheesecake <laughs> is great. You know why Cheesecake is great? Because, first of all, there's, like, a thousand things on the menu. I don't know you. I don't know if you like Italian food. I don't know if you like sushi. I don't you know, know what you like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know what you like. I mean, like. you could take you to Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm not taking you to Chuck E. Cheese. Here we Chuck go. Cheese. Y'all keep game banging on my Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, you know, this is going to be a short Cheese episode. Sorry. At least Y'all you know, came to my Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, at least I showed up. You showed up. And I ate the pizza. You know, so, like, it wasn't all Are you okay? I'm, I'm still standing there. Oh, wow. Can that Chuck E. Cheese pizza give you the run? No, it don't. Back to what you guys were saying. I Truthfully, my point of view, I think you guys have really limited sisters. There's not a whole lot of women out there who are like that. There are women out there who are looking to connect, who are sure, looking to build. Sure. The, w- even what you said was some of these influencers are doing that. These are influencers. That is not the majority no, of them. It, it's, they're it's not, but they're it's a very few, very, a very, um, you need to up niche. It. Yeah, bro. A I, very I, niche but, uh, population of women who are like that. I understand, but I think it's on, it, it depends on the, the generation. Yeah. Like, so a lot of older women, like in their late thirties and forties mm-hmm. and stuff like that, they're on social media, but they ain't on social media like that, right, right? right? They're not super influenced by what's going on uh, in society today. Right. But when you, if you're like, uh, certainly if you're in your 20s, for sure. Oh, for right. sure. But right. if you're, I would say under 30, so if you're like 29, 28-ish, mm-hmm. you're definitely influenced by everything that's, that you see on television, that you see on social media, mm-hmm. on YouTube, all that stuff. There are a lot of uh, content creators making content around uh, dating and stuff like that. And there's a lot of women who are like, oh, girl, he got to have this, he got to have that, he got to don't be settled and stuff like that. And so now these women are out there and they, instead of putting the most important things up front, they're, they're putting this su- the superficial stuff up front. Mm-hmm. But even those women you're talking about, when they say he's got to have this, he's got to have that, he's got to have this, those women end up what? Alone. But <laughs> because but these cats ain't got that, especially I'm at that saying, age. Yeah, so that's, that's not even realistic. But that's my that's point, though, that, that they're not, that's, that's my point, that they're not settling. Yes, that's that's my point. Yeah. They'd rather be single and have their independence because they're not going to lower their standards to have a relationship. That's right. my point. And they, but they view it as lowering standards. When it's uh, To me, it's not lowering standards. You, there are certain things that are more important than others, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, the connection that you have, how much you like that person as a person mm-hmm. is more important than how much money that that person has. I agree. Right? Agreed. And so it, you, instead of looking for connection and, and true friendship in a relationship, mm-hmm. a woman is like, um, you take me to Cheesecake Factory, that's whack. Oh, you're taking me here, that's whack. And it's like, you don't even know me, son. I don't, I don't know you. Yeah. That's why I'm taking you to Cheesecake Factory, oh, because God. I just want to get to know you. I think you're going to get some comments about this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to get some real comments <laughs> of people, will, because I think that's such a stereotype for some women. You cannot argue against what I'm saying, because who's going who's gonna to disagree with me by saying connection is not important? No, I agree with that. But saying women are that, uh, women are that shallow. But and in the end, as I said, those women end up alone. So that's not realistic no. because in the end, when they end up alone, I guarantee well, you, they're going to lower them standards so they can, they can have somebody to but connect think, with. It's not, so it's not about lowering standards. It's about rearranging your standards. Because of, of in hierarchy of importance, same difference, isn't it? Lowering, yeah. rearranging, it's still well, a rearranging. Lowering implies no, lesser than. It's not the same. It's, so it's not. I it's think like, rearranging is a better. It's like, oh, yeah. I want a guy who makes a million dollars, but I, I guess I'll lower it to somebody who makes a hundred grand. Like, is that really like a? It's, it's like, why is money the most important? What about connection? Because you have to live. No, you. you it's you, realistic. We all, we all have to right. live. Dude, we're in 2024, ni- 1968, where things were a little different, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? $2 took you a long way. And like, right. ain't going to kiss $2 ain't going to get you too. nothing. You can't, can't do buy it now. A, no. You literally no. can't buy a Snickers with $2. Right. It's Snickers is $2. <laughs> no, because it's two fifty. dollars <laughs> 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 I'm a man. Like, I, one Snicker bar is half a gas. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here, bro. Wow. Why is, why wow. is gas so expensive? Gas is gas, but no, Snickers bar, hold on, so you get mad over Snickers bar. Brother, bar. Nigga, this Snickers bar is Snickers bar Snickers bar Snickers gas. How you mad that you got a hybrid? See, stop fun. Stop fun. See, y'all, see, that, I'm going to keep it real with y'all because they ain't telling you the whole story. He get mad over gas prices, got a hybrid. We can't do that. Gosh, I can get mad at gas prices. You hey, can't. Hey, because you got the gas guzzler, bro, but I'm just saying, man. Like, but I ain't mad, though. 
You I'm bad. Back. Back. <laughs> it's back to the women. Yeah, sorry. Back to the women. You know. Just thought y'all should know that fucking okay. fact. I, I think Mary ain't trying to settle on Snickers. No, I just, I'm, I'm mad about Snickers and Gad. I don't okay. want Fair no part of Okay, one. so change the subject, please. <laughs> yeah. He's mad over gas prices and Snickers. I'm mad about prices. everything. <laughs> I'm mad about this whole subject. <laughs> I don't think perfection exists, man. I just think. Ain't no, th- ain't no such thing as perfect. Who's perfect? No one's perfect. So I don't think it's so. I think, like you said, Larry, it's rearranging your expectations. Yeah, your expectations and, and your standards. There, there are certain, We all should have standards, by the way. So I'm yeah. not saying we Agreed. shouldn't, yeah. right? I have standards, right? right? So there are certain things that I would like, uh, you know, a woman to have in order to be in a right. relationship, right? right? So we all should have those. There you go. Um, but in terms of whether, you know, women are lowering their standards or not, I just think it's a rearrangement of the standards. Just put put things that are Im- really important up front. And as long as a guy has this, this, and this, I'm cool. Whatever that is, as long as it's something that's not superficial. Right. Otherwise, when you're looking for superficial things and then you don't find those things, you go, oh, there's no good men out there. It's like, well, but there yeah. are good men out there, just like there's good women out there. And you know, in my experience, the women I've met who are like that, I mean, who, who are looking for these men, they just want stability. If they have some stability and somebody's going to be faithful and all that stuff, they, they wouldn't. They, they will try to build something with them together. Mm-hmm. I think that what you said, I think even though I, I think it's valid, I think it's so, again, so limited and, and more of a younger person's thing. Now, you got somebody in their 30s or 40s who wants somebody that's established, who's got this and got that because you're a little bit older in life. I can see maybe the where that may be valid. Um, but like I said, if not, if they don't rearrange or lower whatever the situation is they end up alone and in the end i found these women do not want to be alone no nobody wants to be alone unless they do right but nobody really wants to be alone right and that's why i value um connection more than anything else do i connect with you and i think that's something that's really important for i would say 98% 98% of women. Oh, you're like, no can, can, do I connect you with this 98%. man? 98%. Well, because there's some, you I'm know, there's some, yeah, there's some women out there that are just. We got to get some women on the panel, man. We do. I'm curious about that 98% yeah. you threw out. Bro, it's not, I say 98%. And mission fee for getting on the panel is a Snickers bar. Don't bring up Snickers to me, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad. I like Snickers. It's my favorite candy. It's just expensive. I remember when that shit was 75 cents, bro. 75, I remember when it was 50. 50 yeah, cents. 50 cents. Well, you know I'm older than all of you. I remember when it was a quarter. 75 what? cents. Oh, a quarter. Look at that. Look at that. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. 50 a quarter. cents. 75 cents. We're at a You have 50 cents? I remember. I was 50 cents. So I was 50 cents. Cent. Cent. But no, that's what's mine. But now we're at $2.50. Yeah, I don't buy it. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's bring it back.